This is going to be Nomergon as a protection paladin. Uh, so I had kind of a take two on this. I did one run here in this dungeon and realized that I'd messed something up and had no game audio on my recording. So I went back and ran it again to get better footage. <laughs> Not really the best dungeon to be running like twice in a row. Not really the best dungeon in general. It's fine though. Somebody set an icon on me so that they'll be able to keep track. Alright, so yeah, this place. Um, last time I was here, a while ago, I talked about different routes through it. And how I wanted to take uh, something different from the traditional jump off of this and make a big mess down at the bottom. I did pick up a parachute, so there's a crate of parachutes right there. I had researched this route carefully because I had never really understood how the parachutes work until, uh, until I did. So yeah, since I came here before and got all the quests done, uh, I didn't get the automatic parachute that's handed to you when you pick up the quest. So in that crate is an extra one. I picked it up in case people insisted on jumping down, just so I'd be prepared for whichever case happens. Because sometimes people here just jump down without saying anything, um, and just assume everybody will follow them. Uh... Now, one of these dudes over here was a problem. He's not being a problem right now. Oh, hey, so we have a hunter in the party. Oh, right, what do we have? So I see a uh, shaman, I'm pretty sure. Saw that Volpera in Ghost Wolf form before. Hunter has made that trap. Uh, warrior and... The bottom one must be a Shadow Priest. Yep, Shadow Priest. Neat. You don't see a lot of those. They're slightly uncommon. Alright, so I'm taking this detour to this really annoying event here. Boy, this is something I'd actually be real tempted to skip. I don't like to skip stuff, but... Mm. Is this Grubbus? Yeah. Uh, Grubbus is pretty annoying to fight, just because you have to wait so long well nothing happens so talk to this gnome and she slowly walks over here and sets a couple of explosive charges and slowly a bunch of trogs come out of these places and eventually somehow that results in grubbis being summoned i just really don't like all the everybody sleep, sleeps at once <laughs> we had the same idea <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. At least we can have some fun with that. <laughs> uh, that's great. Little moments like that are what make me love doing stuff like this. <laughs> it's so good. See, and now I feel like uh, we've had a little interaction, so now the party likes each other better. Everybody's going to be more talkative from this point on. You just need, need those little break the ice moments sometimes to, you know, to break the ice. Oh, interesting. This Shadow Priest is targeting me with, what is that, Mind Seer, whatever their thing is called? So normally that spell goes onto an enemy and then like radiates outward towards targets near them. I didn't know you could target it on a player though. So like he's making me his uh, source of splash damage. Okay, well, that's a thing you can do. You can go into this tunnel. I don't see any reason to though. Everybody else decided to. I don't actually know off the top of my head what happens if you're in it when it collapses. You might just die. You might just like... Yeah, you probably just die. If you're under it when the boulders come. I should test that. Because like it does get actually sealed off. The explosives don't do any damage. But the rocks might. I wonder what this gnome thinks she's trying to accomplish. 
I guess I could read her text and maybe find out. <laughs> I don't know, this whole event just seems goofy and super unnecessary. It might also just be that, like, nothing happens and, you know, the the rocks are solid on one side, but you can still walk out of them. <laughs> uh... Just so you're not stuck in there forever. You know what? This doesn't take as long as I remembered. It just feels like it takes forever when you're actually here doing it. But yeah, you know, four or five waves of these, then Grubbus comes, and then you can be done with this forever. And since this was a take two, I had to do this twice in one day. I know he comes out, like, right when the bombs are about to go off. I think she does kind of like a false countdown. It doesn't match what actually happens. Is that right? I'm ah, not moving. I'm standing my ground. seconds. Okay, those 10 seconds totally went by and nothing happened. So it's actually Countdown to Grubbus, pretty much. Then once he's down, the bombs goes off, but who cares? We're, our business is done here. <laughs> Time to leave. Alright, now what's going to happen right here? I'm prepared to jump down, if needed. Making sure I know where my parachute is. However, somebody is requesting to go over there by clicking on the map. There's what looks like a quest. They might find out it's not actually a quest, it just looks like one. So since somebody has clicked the map to request that we go over there, I'm going to take this route. So if you don't jump down into this hole... Yeah, Warrior wants to go downstairs. So that's what we'll do. Let's see a different route through here. Hunter wants to go too. They're not sure that this is the way, but this is the way down. So I let them know. Now, I was going to turn left there, but it turns out right is actually the way to go. This is a part of the dungeon I'm a little less familiar with. You can turn left and get here, but it's not as direct. Right is actually the turn you want there. Yeah, so you get these grime-encrusted objects. Somebody had just uh, picked one up. And then have to come to these sparklomatic, whatever the heck they are, uh, to clean them off and actually get the whatever item is inside them out of them. It's... 
Annoying and weird, and like, usually people don't go to this part of the dungeon, so you just end up with these grime-encrusted objects in your inventory that are pretty worthless. You can sell them. Uh, they'll sell for less than the actual equipment that's inside. Uh, it also costs money to clean them off. So, I don't know, there's just this whole mechanic here that's kind of half-baked and weird and... <laughs> feels a little pointless, but that's how it is. Do I do it once just to show? Yeah, Sparklomatic 5000, 5200, whatever. Costs three silver. It cleans it up and wraps it, uh, cleans it off and wraps it up for you. So it turns into a blue question mark, meaning repeatable quest. Now I'll just let the people clean off their objects however they want to. I'm gonna clear the way forward. There's never really anything good in the, uh, <laughs> in the grime encrusted objects as far as I know. At least I've never gotten anything good out of it. Where is this shaman? Oh, she was having a fight with something over there. All right. So I noticed there was there was more fighting to do. Okay. I hadn't been attending to that. I was off doing my own thing. Got more grime encrusted objects. I could clean them off, but didn't want to. So I think just this one more little room and then we're actually at the bottom of the pit to where we could have been if we'd, uh, jumped down. Boy, these guys look annoying. Two casters kind of spread out. It's fine, though. While annoying, they're not actually dangerous. It just, you know, feels better if I can have everybody all grouped up and have all the threat on me, if I can pull it off. Well, nope, I didn't manage to set off that alarm somehow. It walked right through me and did not alarm. Okay, so I guess that one doesn't alert to my presence? I know there are little dudes that look like that. Uh, that will summon more enemies if you get their attention, but I guess that's not one of them. All right, so here's the way to the pit. So not a huge detour, you know. Enough that if the party's coordinated enough to uh, um, to jump in the pit without it becoming a huge mess, it's probably worth doing if nobody wants to go visit the Sparklomatic. But I don't know. It's nice to see this route every once in a while. So the route we just walked is what I believe a hunter or warlock pet will do if they are summoned while their owner jumps into the pit. So that's why sometimes if you have one of those classes in the party and uh, their owner jumps, you'll get all those trogs and gnomes and whatever uh, else the, the pet found along the way coming through that hallway into this pit. Right about as you're fighting... Um, what's that thing called? Uh, Viscous Fallout. I'm looking for Viscous Fallout right now. It is nowhere to be found. Somewhere in this room. So, like, the exit's there to my west. But I want to fight a dude first. Where is he? Gotta be somewhere. I just cannot find him. There he is. Big water elemental looking guy.
So I'm targeting this irradiated slime, because my preference in a situation like this is normally to make sure that the the non-boss enemies at the lower health pools die first, so they're not contributing their damage for the entire time we're fighting a boss with a larger health pool. Sometimes it makes sense to just tunnel on the boss and get them down first, but I don't know, usually it's better to make sure they're the only thing you're fighting when it's an option. Did I lose my way? It's west. So if anybody is here for the first time on their character, they'll have a quest to turn in at this dude here, on the motorcycle. Somebody stopped there, so they probably did. Yeah, 50 quests completed, look at that. Someone tried to congratulate the shaman on that achievement, but had the wrong target, so they congratulated a sentry instead. <laughs> oh man, 50 cuts completed. So hard to do. <laughs> So there's another, like, super long out-of-the-way optional path you can take in here. I find it less interesting than the dormitory with the sparklematic 5200 in it, uh, so I don't take that route. And I'm also a lot less familiar with it, so I'd run the risk of getting slightly lost if I try to go there. And that's no fun for anybody. So let's just not. I guess the hallway's not here. It's in a hallway that looks very much like this. There are a lot of those here in this dungeon. Getting pretty comfortable with the flow of this combat. Uh, you know, I know when to go forward and engage the next group. Some people like to go faster than this, some people like to go slower. This is the pace I like to go at. You know, when you're fighting something... Yeah, when I'm, when I'm fighting a group, I prefer to, you know, stay until that group actually dies. Usually. But if there's somebody within reach, you know, in 40 yards and I can hit them with Judgment or uh, Avenger's Shield, and there's, like, no pressure on the healer or anything, uh, I'll usually do that if we're going that way anyway, just to save some time. Yeah, that dude, okay. So the mobile alert system is the one that actually calls out. But not the one called alarm bot, whatever. The priest gave me a shield, that's nice. Normally a discipline thing, but Shadow can do it too. Those we can probably just skip. I want to make sure everybody turns this corner without getting their attention. Looked like they did. Yeah, like just so the parachute is indeed a one-use item. You know, you can't like stop and repack it and reuse the same one. Uh, so... If we're going to jump off of this platform, which is the easiest way to get to the next part of the dungeon, uh, we need another parachute. There is another chest with parachutes in it on this platform. In some position? It's not the most obvious thing. Like, you kind of have to know that it's there to look for it. 
I think I will get a parachute out of it. Yeah, okay, so extra parachutes right underneath that helicopter. Oh boy, I got a workshop key. That item is completely useless now. There we go. Used my parachutes. Whoa, that consecration did something weird. There it is. <laughs> it went like in midair so I couldn't see it on the ground. Alright, everybody else is figuring out the parachute situation. Oh right, it was lovely charm season when this was being recorded. Yep, so that got that going on. Guess you can see my, my quest log over on the right. I also have an unfinished thing from Shadow Fang Keep, apparently. I wonder how that happens. I'm not sure. Alright, so that little hallway coming up on our left is the uh, way to the other optional boss. I guess that'll be the Crowd Pummeler 690, 960. <laughs> uh, it's a long detour though, through some kind of annoying stuff, so it just feels really not worth it. There's like a back exit out of this place, I want to say, over there? Unless I'm thinking of something else. But yeah, like, I mean, you can see how long that hallway is in the mini-map. You can barely even see the end of it. Just way too out of the way to be worthwhile. Oh right, so this happens sometimes. I don't know what causes this. Again, maybe Hunter Pets? That seems like a Hunter Pet sort of situation. So yeah, he probably jumped without dismissing his pet or the Warlock. Wait, do we have a Warlock? No, not on this party. Uh, yeah, so Pet probably ran through a bunch of um, bunch of these dudes and brought them all to us. That's fine. We can handle it. But yeah, it's right around this point in the dungeon when that happens. And this dude patrolled into us from over there. This is quite a spot. Is it the Shadow Priest who's managing to do enough damage to peel things off of me? That doesn't happen a lot, but it did happen with this party. Threat management's not too big a deal these days. Uh, usually, you'll have a lot of trouble out damaging the tank's threat. It can be done. But as long as you're assisting them, uh, using the same target as, as their primary one, usually it won't. It does depend on the situation, though. But for the most part, threat isn't something to have to worry about too much. Alright. Tinker's Court. Last boss in here. Almost done. See, this place isn't so bad. Everybody hates it for some reason, and you know, I, I kinda get it. It has some problems, but it's fine. Certainly not my least favorite dungeon. Probably not even in the bottom three. So I'm... I guess I'm using this camera angle because I'm looking for... there's like some 
bombs he summons that just go to random targets. Yeah, there's one. Walking bomb. I don't know how much they're worth worrying about. I think that one died before it got a chance to explode. Here comes another one. I think it went off and did very little damage, so yeah, not something to really worry about. Got it. Just wanted to be prepared in case it was. Alright, then just in case anybody needs to turn in quests, I kind of lead them over here, even though I guess they can see on their minimap that this is the turn in point. <laughs> I just felt like going along with everybody. Just to be nice. Alright, cool stuff. Alright, uh, see you for the next one.